A father and son who were among the 12 victims who perished from the fatal Mboni area road accident were laid to rest today in Kadeka Kai, that's in Machakos County. During the funeral service for the 44-year-old Joshua Nzomo Silla and his 11-year-old son, Travis Muo Nzomo, the parents of the deceased said the two young lives and promising lives had been cut short. Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission spokesperson Eric Ngumbi blamed corruption among traffic police officers for the ongoing deaths of innocent Kenyans on the roads. The total number of those laid to rest from the accident is now four, as two others were buried on Thursday in Makwini County. The accident occurred on the 16th of December 2023 at the Kikima Machakos Road. Reports indicate that around 20 people were on board the ill-fated 14-seater Matatu. He was grandson to late right No one experiences a greater loss than a mother losing a son and a grandson at the same time. A deep shadow has fallen upon me as I grieve as a result of this tragic occurrence in my life. We cherish both Zomo and Muo as we know they will never truly leave our memories and we rejoice that we will see them as we follow them to live with our mek kama tume ambayo imetwi kwa majukumu uh, ya kuondoa ufisadi Kenya imeweza ku identify corruption kama one of the leading challenges one of the leading causes of road accidents na hii ni kwa sababu wale ambao wanatumia barabara zetu wakiwemo madereva wale askari ambao wanadhibiti trafiki na wananchi wana ingia kwa ufisadi ambao umekita mizizi na kwa sababu ya hayo tunakuwa na very poor enforcement or total lack of enforcement of the traffic laws that are supposed to ensure safety.